Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and in today's video, I'll be playing through Under Falling Skies. This is a new one from CGE. It is a single player game that takes roughly 20 to 40 minutes to play. And in this one, you are going to be playing, trying to defend a city from an alien invasion. And this one can be played in one of two ways. You can either play the pre-game camp mission, which gives you a lot of different varieties depending upon which city you choose and how difficult you want to make it. Or you can play through a full campaign that'll have a narrative and it will have all kinds of different things for you and all kinds of new things you're going to be adding to the game as you play through that campaign. So in this video, I'm going to be playing through one of the pregame campaign or the pregame mission. And in this one, I've chosen to defend Washington, D.C., which gives me a little bit of a different layout. And I went with a normal difficulty setting. So one of my tiles has been flipped over to the more difficult side. So I'm going to see how I do with that. But I also want to hear from you. Let me know if this is one that you've played, what your thoughts on it are, and if you'd like to see a campaign with this one. I was kind of toying around with that, and I think it might be kind of fun to do this one as a group. So if I get enough responses and there's enough interest, I'll go ahead and play through the campaign, but I'll have the viewers make the choices. So after each of the different videos that I do as I put it up, I'll have, have the uh, comment section open for a little while. And based on the feedback of that, I will make those changes and choices, and we'll see how I can make it through that campaign by letting the consensus make those choices. So let me know if that's something you are interested in, in watching and if that's something you'd like me to do. I, if I get enough responses, I'll go ahead and work on making those happen. So as always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button and subscribe to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow and be able to produce this content. If you want to be notified anytime I release new videos, also ring that notification bell and that'll let you know when I drop some new stuff. So let's head to the table and we'll see how this one plays. All right, so we're going to move into the game now. So like I said, I chose Washington, D.C., which gives me a special ability. It does make it a little harder as it does add in an extra research point that's six, so it takes a little bit more to get into that. But this one, and on the first roll of each round, I get to set one of the white dice to six instead of rolling it, which is kind of nice. And then it uses locations B and C for the board, so this makes things a little bit more challenging. As my top, especially early in the game, I don't have a whole lot to do. I have a lot of ships or aircraft um, air hangers that I can deploy from and a little bit of energy, but I really need to get my excavator going deep as quickly as possible as my re all my research, and that is below. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and set that first white die to six, and then go ahead and roll for my starting turn. Okay. So from here, now I have to choose how I want to deploy this stuff. And each time I play a white die, I have to reroll all the remaining dice. So choosing how I want to do this is going to be key. So let's see, with the excavator, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I definitely want to place a six there. And that will move this one, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll drop him there. So I could do that one there. So I think I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And then I still have the remaining dice left. So let's see how I want to do the rest of this here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do, I'm gonna place one of these here. So that's going to move him up one space instead as the AA guns have reduced their movement by one point. Now I have to roll the rest of these. Ugh, twos. It'd be great to get some fives or something. All right. Um, then let's go ahead and drop another one. This will have me re-roll again. I'm going to drop that one there. I'll move him up one as well, and I'll re-roll these one final time. Oh, there was the five. All right, so let's go ahead and drop that one there. So that's going to give me three energy. One, two, three, four. And this one, no one's on any explosions at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop that there and move him up two spaces. Okay, so from there, then it moves into my planning phase. So I will first off carry out that to gain three energy. So that moves me up to six. I do have to spend one of those to move the excavator. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Whoop. 
All right, and then the rest of these just get cleared. From there, then we'll move into the mothership phase. So she's gonna move forward one, and that will kick these guys back up, which they basically will just fall back in these rows. And then it does add a white, so it'll go into the space that has the ship farthest along. All right, that is the end of that phase. So then moving back into it, uh, again, I can set that to six and roll the rest of these. All right, so now things are getting a little more interesting. I got some, some more areas opened up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I think I'm gonna do that. And that will move that up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's on a four. So potentially dropping that would be great. And let's see here. And one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I might want to drop one there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's probably pretty safe. So I think I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Um, so that'll move this guy down. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to reroll these. Okay. All right. So I got the middle and the end spaces still to go. Well, I can go ahead and drop that one in there. One, two, three, four, five. And then I've got two left. I got to reroll this. So I got a three and a one. So I'll go there with the three. That moves that up two, puts him on there. Basically with this one, either I don't have them move or I have them move one space. So I think I'm going to have them not move at all. Fortunately, that's gonna bring my guy back a couple spaces, but uh, that's all right. Okay, so then moving into my resolution, I am going to spend two energy here to convert this into a robot, to manufacture a robot. And then I'm also gonna do that to bump that up that gives me my first research. So I'm out of the gate now. That's good. And I'm going to go ahead and drop him in there. Then that is going to, I'm going to spend one there to move him forward. And then these go away. So I have no energy at this point. So I am going to definitely need to work on getting some energy. All right. Uh, then the ship is going to move forward. That triggers this guy going back to. And then we don't have anything else to do at this point. So then it's back into my turn. So again, I'm going to take that. This, I think it's set this time. So now I can use it this round. All right. So I've got a whole bunch of high numbers here. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So that would get me there. Or I could go six and go all the way down, but I don't know if I want to do that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, I think that'll be a good, good one for that. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. All right. Um, I have to re-roll these. Okay. So let's see how I want to handle this. So if I go here, then move him up one, two, three, four. I think I'm okay with that. Need to get a big one in a plane hanger. Fortunately, that one's there. So I think he's getting through most likely. with a one so I got these three slots to fill up and this this space is pretty much a dead space 
All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and place the white one there. That's gonna move him up one space. Then I have to re-roll these two. Five and a one. All right, so I still have these two spaces here to go. So what do I wanna do with these guys? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop these two in here. I don't want these guys moving up too fast, so. Four, five, four, and move up four. All right, I think that will do it. So from there, then let's go ahead and move into the planning phase. So this gets cleared along with these two. This one's gonna get me one, two, three energy. And then I have to spend one to move my guy. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have to spend two to trigger that, which is gonna give me seven points. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that was pretty useful. This will tick down by one for using it. And that will finish off my turn. The mothership's gonna move. And then she is going to drop a new ship in there. And that one is going to go here. All right, so I gotta start shooting down some of these guys. All right, so again, moving into my phase. Let's see what I got here. All right, so I've got some good choices. Ooh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, or six. So unfortunately, I, I want the energy. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that one there. Yep, make sure I don't wanna place anything else anywhere as of right now. I could pop him at five, drop this three in there. One, two, three. That'll give me fives on there. And then, let's see, what do I wanna do here? Fortunately, mo some of these guys are gonna be moving. All right, so how do I wanna do this? I got a lot of big numbers here. One, two, three, four, five. So I could finish this off at this point, and this guy would move one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that might be good just to get this this last thing going here. Or I could get another robot. Which would start getting me some, some stuff automatically here. Well, why don't we plug this guy in. I'm going to go here. So this guy's going to move up two, hit my base, and go back up. And this guy will also go down. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, then these get re-rolled. All right, so we got some smaller numbers this time, so that's a plus. All right, so got the three outer lanes again. So I could drop that there. Each one of these guys up two. And then I've got these two left. Could go there, one, two, three, four. And I think I will drop that guy in there. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh, ships are getting close. Okay, so now it moves into my planning phase. So this will convert to a four. And we go ahead and drop that in there. For that. So that takes care of that one. I get five energy this turn for that. I really need to start working on some of that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and spend one to trigger this. Gets me one point there. And then, well, let me see. One, four, five. Yeah, either way, I'm going to basically lose one out of that. So I'll move those up there. All right. Uh, then these two... 
So I'm just going to waste that one. And then this one is five. I have to spend two energy to do that. So that will take out this guy here and that guy there. Okay, so that helps those. And I didn't move up the excavator at all. All right, uh, then the mothership's gonna move down. And these guys are gonna deploy. So we have one there for sure. And then we have one here and one there. All right, so I will set the one to six. And let's see what we got going on here. Okay. So some smaller numbers. Hmm. All right, so let's do that one there. Let's go move him down four. One, two, three, four. And then you need at least 10 in here. One, two, three, four, five. So I could do that. Move him down. This guy moves down four as well. One, two, three, four. Almost forgot about him. Okay, so that's nine. Could throw that four in there. I need that's 10, 11. That's going to be kind of a waste. I just need two in there basically. Would be nice to move him down to here, potentially take him out. So I think I'll do that and just waste it. So one, two, three, four. All right, and then what do we got going on here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Kicks him over, gets a, a big plane up. And then this one gets re-rolled. I have two sixes. So I either place that and re-roll this one and hope for something low. Two would be fantastic. Yep, yeah, let's go ahead and try it. Uh, I'm not gonna have the energy. So I'm only gonna get three from that. That would put it up to five, which I'm gonna have to spend for this. Oh no. Well, either way, I gotta re-roll this. Well, unless I change this out. <clears throat> Dang, what to do? Well, I could drop it up here. At least it would only cost me one energy. Still not getting any other energy for it though. And I would drop it down to five, which would not allow me to eliminate either one of those guys. I've already used those. Yeah, so I'm gonna drop that there. Let's move him up one, two, three, four. He hits the base. And this guy's gonna go up as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. This gets re-rolled. It's a five. Ugh. So I might as well go there and move him down four. One, two, three, four. All right, so then I have to resolve these so that gets cleared. I'll go ahead and handle that. So that drops down to a three. That gives me three. And then how do I want to spend this? So I have five with that, but I'm not going to be able to get it at this point anyways, because I only have five. So I'm going to have to spend all of it to take care of that. So that's going to give me nine, 10, 11, 12. I get 13 points. So that's 10, 11, and last two are wasted as I don't have enough for that. And then the, finally the ships, so it's at minus one, so five will take care of this guy, this guy. So that one was eliminated, this guy is there. That guy's still remaining. And that's pretty much all I can do at this point. All right, so then the mothership will move up. A new one will come out. So first off, we'll have those, and then this guy drops in here. 
All right, so we're making some headway here. Fortunately, I've got I've got to start picking up the pace here a little bit. All right, um, I will keep that at six. All right, so let's see what we got here. So I'm going to need a six at this point to move the research up. Well, I do have a six. I could just drop it in there, keep it simple this time. We should move him one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not a bad thing. It bumps me up and then I can make a big push next time. So I think I'll do that there. Gives me a couple more options with some of this other stuff. All right, um, next. Five. Two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, I got my two ends, and I got to fill up my middle. Six. Two, three, four, five, six. Move him over one. It's gonna bump him up into there. That takes out two more guys though. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do for the moment. Okay, so this guy's gone. He gets through, does damage. This guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, and moves over. All right, so now it's into my planning phase. So first off, I'm going to get one for that. I get two for that. I have to spend one of those to move him on over here. So that takes care of that. I'm going to clear that and convert it to the six from this and place that there. It's gonna get me that. Then this will take care of this guy. Eliminates him, this guy, and this guy. And that requires two energy. So that's no energy left. And then I have no energy for research. I'm going to have to do that. Yep. So. It would have been nice. But that's the way it is. All right. So then it is on to the mothership. So she's going to move up one. She drops my rover back by one. And then the new ships come out. So we have one here and one here. And then one in the middle there. All right, so I'll set that to six. Okay, so we've got some, some lower numbers here and a lot of higher numbers again. I've taken three damage, I think, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Yep. Three ships got through. Okay, so this round has got to be a research round. All right, I'm going to pick up seven points there seven energy so that's really good so I really need to get some some points here one two three four five six so I'll drop one in there two three four five six okay and then 
could drop that one in there. Moves him up one. Okay, we'll do that. That'll clear that guy. And then I gotta reroll these. Four, three, two. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I do need a three in there. If I do that, it'd be better to get a four in there. Move him up one additional. It's a waste overall, but it gets him into there and then I get him out of the way. What can I do with these guys? I have those two spaces still to figure out. Okay, so I could go there. Moving him up three, one, two, three. This guy. Now well, let's see what happens. One, two, three, four. This gets re-rolled. It's a six. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's all the way up there. Ugh. I guess I'll go here. Yeah, I'll do that because that's at least that one's free versus that. And then I can use the research. Three, four, five, six. All right. So then we move into resolution. So this will spin down to five and then I get seven points for that. I will go ahead. I'm going to clear that and not use it. I'll use this one. Instead, they do five. That'll take care of this guy and that guy. All right. Um, let's see. So I have to do this one next. So that's going to give me 11 points. So there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I lose one there. That's five points. And I get two more for this, which spins that down to a three and that takes care of that. Or do I wait? I might wait. Because I'm going to get it. It's going to make me drop back anyways. So I'm going to have to get the five over again regardless. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just forego it. I'll keep on, I'll hold on to that. That gives me more power next round. All right, so then it's on to the alien phase. So this is going to move forward. This guy falls back onto the ship. That's going to reduce it by one. And these come out, so they'll be on these spaces there. All right, so that'll be a six. And then back to me. All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay. Um, stuff's getting close. One, two, three, four. Unless I just opt to move it up one. Might be the better choice. Try to take him out. Figure out a different way to get in. Gives me five, so that will take care of that at least. And then I really have to just dump all in next round and hope to pull it off here. All right, so then. So there, move him up one. Three of these. All right, so a couple more low ones, so that's good. All right. All right, 
what else I want to do here. So that's going to get through. This one will move over. He goes back up and that goes down one. This gets re-rolled. It's a five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so not terrible. So that'll finish that off. So that clears that. And then this goes down to a four, and I pick up six points for that. I'll spend two for this one. That drops that down to a three, and I get that there. Spend one more to move my excavator to the end. And then I might as well spend one to do eight. So that'll take care of those two. All right, so that moves down. And then I put these guys back out, and then he'll come out there. All right, so then this is gonna be set to six. All right, I need a big round here. So we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. So I got 20 points to pick up here. All right, so some big numbers, okay. All right, so I'm gonna get five more for that. So that's gonna max me out there for energy. So that's good. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I go put this guy here, drop him in there. Could max out for 12. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I could work on that one instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six put me there. But I need a big number for later. So six would put me here. So actually, maybe there instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. That will put me there. That will put me in good position for next round where I can work on these two and then maybe just keep these light this round and not move them up too terribly much. All right, so I'll do that. That moves him up, but he can't slide over because this ship is here. And I'll have that as well. So I just want to keep these guys moving slow. Two, three, four, five, six. So I'll stick you in there. Roll these two over. Two ones, that's pretty good. I think that's exactly what I was looking for here. So I got these two columns there. Ugh. I actually wanted to move them up a little bit more than that. Because that's going to move him down. Well... That might be what I have to do though, because that'll put him into a position to blow him up. Two, three, four, five, six. It puts them right on the verge. All right, so, or I just don't move them. Two, three, four, five, six. There's probably not going to be a six in that column. Could do that and just not move them at all, which I think sounds like a pretty good idea. All right, so let's see if this works. All right, so these get cleared. 
I will get, uh, I'll spend one energy for this to get me six. So that takes five and that one. So that'll take care of that. I do get five energy. It puts me at eight. So this drops it to a three. I can spend two more. Drops that down to a two, which gives me that. And then I have one energy here that does this guy in. Okay. Oh boy. Close call, close call. All right, so this is, this is gonna move up. It does another damage to my base. I have one point of damage away from going down. All right, so that'll be at six. I need low numbers. Okay. Um, oh, I gotta put this guy out too, so he's gonna go there. All right, so I gotta keep that guy moving a little slow. So I wanna drop that in first, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. One, three, four, five, yeah. Okay, so that's five. And then how do I want to play the rest of this? I want low numbers overall. Oh, this is going to be tough. It's all coming down to this right here. All right, so I'm going to need low numbers at the end here. I need to drop a six in here, but if I do that now, one, two, three, four, five, six, that'll set me up for the win. But then these numbers could potentially kill me here because I'll still have, this column's not a threat. This one's not too bad. What happens there is the is the big one. Well, let's go for the win. Two, three, four, five, six, and figure out the rest of this after. All right, so I've got a couple that aren't too bad here. All right. Um, So I'm just going to drop him in there. I don't have to use the airplane. Or technically, I could drop him in there, too, since I can't complete that. All right, so then I have a 5 and a 4. I have to put something there and something in this column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I could do that. take him out and then I could put this one one two three four doesn't really matter where it gets placed so I'll go there one two three four two three four behind me all right uh, I think that's it oh did I put that in there so I then I have to I can't remember if I rerolled that or not let me double check. It's a five. All right, so they would just basically shift that around. So it doesn't make that much of a difference either way. Okay, so then let's go ahead and resolve first. So I'll go ahead and take care of this first. That gives me eight, so that'll take care of this guy. And it'll finish off that white ship up there. Not gonna do anything with that one. This one's a dud. And that is the 11 points I need to win the game. All right, well, I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you caught anything on this one, if I did anything wrong. And again, if you wanna see anything else. I had a really good time with it. This is a really interesting game and I'm looking forward to diving into the campaign to kind of see what kind of other things they are going to introduce into this as well. It, it's uh, layered in the box. So as you complete different things, you'll reveal new things, which is really cool as well. So it's kind of like a legacy kind of game, but yet uh, not in the same way. And like I said,
said, there's a little comic book that narrates and tells you what's going on with all of it and that too. So really cool. Again, I hope you found the video helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And until next time, I'll see you later.